Alright, so I'm going to be done. Bye bye. What are you doing today, Paul? Thank you. I, today, I'm going to crush the skulls of the demons who come in my way. We are training deadlifts today and then we're going to go do some hot and cold. It's just me, Lucas, gone to London, but uh, yeah, I've got something special today as well. As I said guys, in the office we are doing deadlifts today, so the plan of attack today is to do 4 sets of 3 at 300 kilograms. That is the that is the main work, so geez, let's try and get that done. Um, been doing a lot of filming recently, so this is going to be my first day this week training. It's a Tuesday, usually we do this on Monday, so let's see how we feel, but yeah, let's do it. Let's get it smashed and let's pump it up. Where's Luke? He's in London at a wedding, so it's just me today. We are going to do something different today, I'm going to do a wee voiceover off our session. As you can see, deadlifts are getting repetitive and I thought I'd give you something and spice it up and hear my nice Scottish deep haggis tones. Basically, what I've been doing with Dan is trying to stay at 300 but progress each week on it. So I think if you look back at some old videos, maybe three or four weeks ago, I did 300 for one set. Last week I did 300 for two sets and this week I did 300 for three sets. So. I'm starting to get a bit better with the 300 kilograms. Obviously, my suit is still a bit loose because I've lost 10, you know, 9, 10 kilograms. Um, I'm trying to train a bit more in the morning now as well, so I've less meals in me, and also I'm training with no belt to just to try and keep my core nice and tight and to get my my core stronger and back to kind of getting used to the heavier weight. So I think I don't know what I'm going to plan next week is, but hopefully I can push a wee bit heavier and maybe try and get the belt on and see what happens but I'm very very happy that I'm hitting 300 for you know three sets of three right now mentally I'm get it's getting better physically as well I'm getting better I'm getting back into a routine I'm training Monday Wednesday Friday right now move up to 280 for a single then we start working sets at 300 let's see how they go eh? Boom. once I finish traveling I'll be back to doing events probably about the end of November, start of December, I'll be doing events. So then that'll give me a good few months to train events and then I start training properly again January time. But yeah, this was a really, really good session. Really happy that I was able to also do this by myself. As you guys see, Luke's not here. He's away in London. So I was very happy that I was able to kind of motivate myself and get myself through the session. It was very kind of hard. The first set, I felt like I wasn't going to get more than one, one set. But anyway, deadlifts, going nice and easy. Felt very good and a 300 now back to how it should be. What weight is this? 280. 280. Oh. Come on then. Good. Up. Good, come on. One more. One more set. That'll be up from last week. Come on. Last one. Right guys, hope you like that voiceover, uh, just breaking down 
why I'm doing certain things, why I'm doing free freezes, etc. Now moving on to deficit deadlift free freeze at 230. Oh, here we go. How was it training that week today? Yeah, it's hard, I mean, um, 300 we've not hit since world, so you know, every week I'm progressing. You've seen like four or five weeks ago, I couldn't even hit 300, so last week did two sets, this week three sets. Still got not the belt on either. Suit's not doing much either because you know, losing 10, 11k, it's you know, it's made for me at my biggest. So, yeah, it's all going good. And maybe put the bet belt next week and push them a wee bit. But, like I said, I want 360 by Christmas time, it's going to happen again. So, yeah, I'll go good. Um, what's, what's the most you've hit this part? 350 when I was uh, about four or five weeks ago. But, yeah, I'll be on track to beating that as well soon. So, but we're on a uh, we're going to do some deficit stuff, this is really good for your lockout, you're pulling an extra two inches off the floor so it's uh, yeah, it mimics kind of that extra two inches so it's going to be hard but it's going to be good, let's do it. We moved on to deficits, deficits are very hard especially for someone at 6 foot 8, I think a lot of people think they help with floor speed but they actually help with lockout, you're actually pulling obviously an extra what two inches from the floor and it's you know a longer pull so it really helps with your lockout so I had 230 on these, um, usually I stand on a 15k plate, but as you can see today I stood on a 20k plate. Again, just to make it a wee bit harder and spice things up. No suit with these and just to kind of get used to yeah, pulling from a, a different angle, pulling a bit, making the pull much harder and making it harder for me to lock out. The goal with these as well is I'm trying not to hitch, so you want to struggle with the pull but you don't want to hitch, so you know, I did three sets for three, no hitching, which was a... Uh, very good for myself, 230, and again with these they'll just increase the weight, but the reps will stay the same, so as far as deadlift goes, uh, very, very happy with that session, as long as I'm improving every single week, it's going to be good, and then when I start getting back into comp prep, they're going to go up big time. Oh, working hard today, I'm absolutely swatching, man. Now we're going on to uh, box jumps for some explosive power, get the kind of hips firing and everything that's firing and keep them these fast twitch muscle fibres going so box jumps next, let's go hips from me in there oh. um, if you look up do you think I'll go through this? Mm. let's give it a go jump high bro <laughs> now you're fine. hey And the accessories, as you see last week, the week before on YouTube, whatever it is, the accessories are pretty repetitive, but these are the things that work for me, you know, everyone's different, uh, Luke's going to have different stuff, and the next person's going to have different stuff, but these right now are helping my body recover, these these uh, accessories sorry, aren't go making me go to the 100% to the limit, they're letting me have more recovery the next day as well, so I'm really targeting my explosive power with the box jumps. I think that's very key to keep the explosiveness into your routine. Targeting the lats uh, with the rows and the upper back as well to really just help with a lot of the deadlift power as well. So I'm really targeting the lats. So that's the kind of main thing as well. And then sometimes we add in hollow holds to again help with the core core strength. But I did no belts for deadlift today, so we didn't have to do hollow holds. What are you? A sweaty mess. I like being sweaty. Sweaty means you're working very hard. I'm sweater than the rain outside. <laughs> Just sweater yeah, than the rain. I'm sweater than the rain outside. <laughs> but if I mean? stood outside, I won't be as wet as I am now. <laughs> yeah, the accessory stuff, like I said, it will be the same week in, week out. But when we increase the weight, we might add the reps in. But most of the exercises will be the same. We may add bent over rows in once or twice as well, but... Yeah, accessories is exactly the same, but they're really fun, enjoying it. I'm having that extra day rest between um, between sessions now, just to get a bit more recovered for each session. The gym is done. It was just me by myself today. Smash the deadlifts, three sets of three at 300, smash the deficits and the accessories. It's pouring rain outside. It looks like I've just come in from the rain, but it's a great session once. Nice and sweaty looks, Simon. Do you want to feel that? Mmm, yummy. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Go check out more Stokeman as well. Thank you for the love. Go on to stokemanbrothers.com and buy some spicy merchandise. Anyway, big love. Stay safe, smile, stay spicy. And, uh, hello? Please keep looking at that little bell. Ding, 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 ding.
Where are you off to now? I'm going off to Amsterdam to watch Rangers versus Ajax. Hopefully it's a good result, so we will see you when I'm back. Stay spicy.